taking on the Dallas Cowboys. To back Super Bowls in the 90s, and they're together again. The Cowboys and Bills are underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Looking to pass first play is Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. Well, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On play action, Allen, they'll roll him out right. The flag comes in, it's incomplete, and I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that one go. Yeah, we kind of sensed that one. He got a little too far forward before throwing, and that one will set them back. And remember, the NFL level, being aware of where the line of scrimmage is, is crucial. And here's the other part. Any part of the quarterback's body that's near that line of scrimmage, he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. So he was clearly over the line. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Off the play fake, Prescott sliding out of the pocket. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the Bills are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing a second interception. They start the drive with Cook, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this to the 26-yard line. Here's Allen. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he'll go down at the two-yard line. What a disaster there. Only able to get it to the two-yard line on his return. Not going to make a lot of friends on your team when you only get it that far. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. And they work this out past the 25. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. So from the 37, here's second down and one. Now Allen completes to Shakir once again. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They run it again with Cook. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Cook up the gut. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the ones dictating to the defense. Well, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Flushed out right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. C.D. Lamb is intended target, and now it's second down. 
Here's Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And he'll be forced out of bounds on the other side of the field. A big play here for Dallas. 46 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. A big play here for Dallas. 42 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Aubrey good with a PAT, and it's now 14 to nothing. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Allen. sack. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's the punter Martin out to kick it away. Taking it about the 16. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity. Pollard will take it up the gut. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Play action now. Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Cooks motions to the left. On second down, it's Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They need 12 here. It's third down. Now Prescott. This ball nearly intercepted. A once-in-a-season chance for the big fella, but he couldn't corral it. Fourth down straight ahead. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Now look at this, 4th and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with 4th down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Fourth down, Prescott. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. A final shot before half for Allen. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And the Bills are going to recover. A gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They are already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Here's Allen on first and ten. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Here's Allen to throw it. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. On first down, Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there. Their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Throwing now is Allen. It's complete to Cook. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of seven that time, second goal. 
That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown. Reggie Gilliam. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And Prescott, his third interception. Rasul Douglas picks it. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. Partner, if we've heard it once, we've heard it a thousand times. Don't throw late down the middle. And he did. We see the end result. Yeah, what you have to do is you've got to make sure you manipulate those defenders with your eyes and your head, maybe even some body movement to move them a little if you're going to come back late down the middle. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. On second down, here's Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with the tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. The gain of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now, and he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Reggie Gilliam with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And, no and nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. Well, very often you can point to one play being the difference in a game, Charles, and this might very well be the one right there. And an extra point is supposed to be simple, but when you don't protect well and that breaks down, it becomes that much harder, and that costs them. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 39-yard line. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Here we go. 
Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they're knocking on the door now. As a good run there, going to take this to about the ten-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time, and that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching, and there was another first down run right there. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Prescott off play action. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. Second and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Aubrey now for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Bring it up, bring so quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line to throw. It's Allen. Oh, he shifts past him. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Malik Hooker, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly, and what a benefit. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. On the return, this is Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. This is first and 10. Throwing Allen. And that's complete to Davis. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. That's caught by Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 51 yards. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Here's Allen. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. And the lead is cut to two here in the fourth. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And checking the timeouts. They do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Prescott to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Second and five. Here's Pollard again. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's a second and five. Now Prescott. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, Charles, I mean, when you look at the stat sheet, ultimately one thing sticks out like a sore thumb. One side lost this game because they turned the ball over four times, and that, that was just too much for them to overcome. And that number might as well be in neon because you're exactly right. It just jumps up from the stat sheet. Your eyes go right to it. And with that many turnovers, they really played themselves out of this game. Too careless with the football too many times. That cost them the victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.